Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about 5 easy changes that we can all do to start your waste-free lifestyle. As I mentioned in my intro video, these are easy changes that anyone can do and that will make a huge impact in the environment. Our first change is gonna be to start using reusable containers. At some point during our day, we either drink coffee, tea, water, and a lot of that time we're not at home, so we aren't able to use our mugs or our glasses, so we end up getting plastic containers. In the US alone, we create 35 million tons a year of plastic. 75% of that plastic goes to landfills. 15% of that goes to combustion with energy. And only 10% gets recycled. So one third of our trash gets mismanaged. What this means is that our trash gets littered all over our cities and gets into our ocean. This plastic not only harms our lovely birds and sea animals like our turtles, but it also ends up harming us. Plastic can come in macro debris that we're able to see, but there's also this thing called micro debris. This type of debris is in our landfills, it's in our water. There is a study that sampled 159 tap waters in different places all over the world. This study found 0 to 54 particles of plastic in our tap water and the United States being the highest. Let's make a difference and start today. So that's why I recommend that an easy change is you bringing your mug to work, bringing a container to Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks. If you like your iced coffee, get a container that it's your favorite size. I myself love my lattes. So I get a medium size, I bring it in, they just fill it in and I'm good to go. You don't have to go out of the way to buy the fanciest water bottle. You can just use anything that you already have at home. And if you don't and you're super new in reusable containers, I will suggest getting a glass one instead of a plastic one. That's better for not only your health, but for the environment. And you can find them in Target, Walmart, Amazon, anywhere. Our second change is going to be, of course, about saving the turtles, reusable straws. For this change, you have to make a little bit of an investment. You, by making the decision today of changing into a reusable straw, will be a huge impact for the world. On average, a person uses 1.6 straws a day. If you get one reusable straw, you will decrease litter on an average of 584 straws a year. All plastic straws end up being trash. This is because essentially plastic straws cannot be recycled. You can get a reusable straw from as little as five dollars anywhere in the internet. I know that there are some of us that don't have the luxury of buying things online, so if you can buy a container that has already a straw, you can reuse that and bring it everywhere, or you can go around into places like multi-centered or even a mall that you are around, and usually little tiny stores will have reusable straws for you. I have invested in a full pack. I get my uh, three metal straws, the straight one, the bended one, and of course the smoothie one. Because I love my smoothies. This pack also brings the brush so you can clean your straws and keep them clean. I usually put them all in here, place them in my purse, in my backpack. But of course, there are guys watching this and of course you don't have space in your pockets for that. So I will suggest getting a foldable straw. You can put it in your keychain, in your pocket. They're very convenient and very small. All right, jumping to our third change. You need to start meal prepping. I know a lot of... <clears throat> I know there's a lot of us that we already do that and take our meal prepping for granted, but it makes a huge, huge difference. There are people that still order takeout or get delivery, and that creates a lot of plastic and a lot of trash. So you have to be conscious of all the packaging that your food comes in. Another quick tip is if you're bringing your lunch to work or you're going to a place that only has plasticware, I will suggest to bring either your silverware from home or invest in a little pack of cutlery that you can carry around. Myself, I invested in a little bamboo one. It's very light. It doesn't make noises like our silverware does. So I can take this anywhere if I know that I'm going to be eating somewhere. I just put this right in my purse. Our fourth easy change is going to be ditching 
plastic bags. Ditching plastic bags. Let's ditch them. Let, let, let's ditch them. All right, we're back. I just want to raise awareness that tens of thousands of whales, birds, seals, and turtles are killed every year because often plastic bags are mistaken for jellyfish or food. The sad part is that a plastic bag takes around 1,000 years to break down. This means that once an animal ingested gets killed by it, decomposed, the plastic bag will eventually find its way again into the wild and kill again. Therefore, you can make a change by ditching your plastic bags in the grocery stores, especially in the produce section. Get produce bags. They are awesome. I love them. They are super useful. I can get my apples, my oranges, my onions in them, and I don't have to use the stores plastic bag. Another situation that so you might get plastic bags are in food packaging and also if you go to a pharmacy and you just want to buy a quick thing, instead of getting the bag, just ask whatever you're buying. If it's small enough, put it in your backpack, in your purse. You don't need that extra plastic bag. Our fifth and final change is going to be start to recycle. Girl, you need to start recycling over here. I'm going to go back to the basics and ask you, what are the three R's? Our first R is reuse. So we're good on reusable containers, reusable straws, so we're off to a good start. Our second R that is often very forgotten is reduce. And how you can achieve this, it's in the supermarket, buying food that has the least packaging, reduce waste by not eating out and meal prepping, and also you can rent, borrow, or share specific things like tools, party decorations, or even furniture. And the third R that you should all know, it's recycling. I'm gonna make a longer video focusing on only recycling. In this video, I just want to point out certain questions that I want you to ask yourself if your recycling at home is single stream per se, if your curbside pickup recycles all types of plastic, number one through number seven. Most of the time, cities only recycle plastic number one and number two. You can check this going into your city's website. It's usually under public works. And in the recycling section, you will see what type of items they receive and they are welcome. Just check. Going back to the plastic bags, a lot of the times the curbside pickup don't recycle the plastic bags. These are recyclable, but usually you have to collect them and bring them to the grocery store. If you don't know if your store has it, make sure to visit earth911.com and you can put your zip code and it will show you what's closest to you and all the grocery stores and stores that have the places that you can put in your film paper and also your plastic bags. Last thing, just make sure to properly wash and discard any food from your recyclables. So in this way, we can help our earth one person at a time. Oh, one more thing about the straws. You can actually sign a pledge that you will never use a plastic straw again in a website called simplystraw.com and you will get a straw for free. Yeah, for free. I hope this video helps you and reminds you that you can start your waste-free life with these little changes. And if you are already doing this, be your example in your own community, between your family and friends. Make sure to share this video. And if you like it, and if you learned something about it, give thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep up on how to start your waste-free life. And see you in the next video.